Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Ticks, quarter two, week number two. So we are now in quarter three, week number two of our most essential learning competencies. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to first formulate the rule in finding the n term using different strategies like looking for a pattern, guessing and checking, working backwards. Now, lesson number two, finding the end term in the sequence. So let's have some activity first to further analyze the topic. Find the next two term or find the next two figure or term in the set of sequence. You have 15 seconds to answer each of the following question. Question number one, your 15 seconds timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is this one. You got the correct answer. Read by pupils. Question number two. We have A, E, I, M. Find the next two figure or term. The 15 seconds timer starts now. If your answer is Q and U, you get the correct answer, grade 6 pupil. Now, question number 3. 3, 7, 11, 15. Your 15 seconds timer starts now. Find the next two terms. Time is up. The correct answer is 19 and 23. Good job, grade 6 people. Now we have question number 4. 1, 4, 9, 16. For 15 seconds, timer starts now. Find the next two terms. Time's up. The correct answer is 25 and 36. Good job, grade 6 people. And lastly, question number 5. Find the next two terms in this sequence. We have 2, 4, 8, 16. Timer starts now. You may comment down your answer in the comment section below. Time's up. The correct answer is 32 and 64. Good job, grade 6 PFL. Now, let's proceed to our discussion for today. So, sequence. Sequence is a set of numbers written in a special order by application of definite rule. Let's have some examples. Find the next two terms in this sequence. We have 3, 7, 11, and 15. Let's find the next two terms in this sequence. So this would be the pattern. If we, move, if, if we subtract 7 minus 3, the answer is 4. 11 minus 7, the answer is 4. 15 minus 11, the answer is 4. So as you can see, they have the common difference. Now, Let's have, take a look at this one. 3 is equal to 3, right? Then 7 is equal to 3 plus 4. The answer is 7. Okay? 3 plus 4 plus 4. The answer is 11. Then 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. The answer is 15. As you can see, the n term or the first term if I multiply it by 
0, 4 times 0, the answer is 1. Added by 3, the answer is 3. Then, if I multiply the common difference by 1, therefore, the answer is 4. And then add it to 3, the answer is 7. And if I multiply 4 times 2, the answer is 8. The plus 3, the answer is 11. And then if I multiply 4 times 3, the 4 term is equivalent to 15. 4 times 3 plus 3, the answer is 15. Now, therefore, the 19th term is equivalent to the 4th term, a 5th term rather, is equivalent to 19 and 23. So, the other way to solve this one is 4 minus 1, example number 2, other. So, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. 9 minus 4, the answer is 5. So, 16 minus 9, the answer is 7. As you observe, the common difference the, does not have the common difference. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the common difference. So, first, I multiply 1 times 1, the answer is 1. 2 times 2, the answer is 4. And then 3 times 3, the answer is 9. And then 4 times 4, the answer is 16. So, first term multiply by itself, the answer is 1. Second term multiply by itself, the answer is 4. And third term, the answer multiply by itself the answer is 9 and 4 term multiplied by itself the answer is 16 and therefore if I go to find the fifth term multiplied by itself the answer is 25 sixth term multiplied by itself the answer is 36 so the rule is multiply the number of term by itself okay let's have some another example find the n term of the sequence so find the Ten term of this sequence. We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. As you can see, these are sequence of add numbers. So let's find the return term using this formula. So a sub n is equivalent to the n term. a sub 1 is the first term of this sequence. And then n is the number of term in the particular sequence. And d is the common difference of the sequence. Now, let's have the proper solving of this sequence. Let's find the value of n, sub n. So, a sub n is equivalent to a sub 10. Why? Because the term term, we're going to find the 10 term. Next, the value of n is equivalent to 10 because the value of uh, 10 term are we going to find. Okay, and then the common difference equivalent to B is equal to A sub 2 minus A sub 1. This should be the formula that we're going to use to find the value of the common difference. A sub 2 is 3. A sub 1 is equivalent to 1. 3 minus 1, therefore the common difference is 2. And then substitute all the values to the given formula. A sub 10, A sub 1 is equivalent to 1 n is equal be equivalent to 10, and then minus 1, and then multiply to the value of the common difference, 2. Then, let's add, uh, let's subtract 10 minus 1, the answer is 9. Then, 9 times 2, the answer is 18, and then 18 plus 1, the answer is 19. Therefore, the value of a sub 10, or the third term of this sequence, is equivalent to 19. Okay? Okay, so to further uh, analyze the set of sequence, use the formulas to find the n term of this following uh, sequence. Okay, so this would be your home learning task. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you and God bless everyone.